हेलो यूअर्स इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री तो कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन केमिस्ट्री एंड इन एनी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन जनरली डेफिनेटली वी गेट मिनिमम वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री कॉन्सेप्ट सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एक्चुअली इट इज द वेरी सिंपल टॉपिक इन एंटायर केमिस्ट्री ओके व्हाटएवर इट इज द एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग ओके सो कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री इज डेफिनेटली वी विल गेट वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस कांसेप्ट एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आल्सो ओके सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट व्हाट इज द कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड ओके दिस कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री डिस्कस विद कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स और कोऑर्डिनेशन कॉम्प्लेक्सेस एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड मींस ए कंपाउंड व्हिच इज फॉर्मड बाय मेटल एटम्स और आयंस ओके compound which is formed by metal atom or ions by accepting an electron pair from the electron excess species electron excess species or maybe electron rich species okay so a compound which is formed by metal atom or metal ion by accepting an electron pair from electron excess species generally this coordination compounds are majorly formed by the d block elements and f block elements okay d block and f block elements forms this coordination complexes or coordination compounds okay so now and this coordination complexes or coordination compounds are represented in a systematic manner and the representation is two types depending upon the based on the nature of the complex so generally complexes are classified into two types okay so one is a normal complex and another one is ionic complex normal complex and ionic complex let us discuss how to represent a normal complex then we discuss representation of a ionic complex see here a normal complex this is the representation of a complex okay in a square bracket so we write metal and lycan and coordination number and charge of the complex we write here okay so let us discuss one by one see here this one represents a charge of complex or charge on the complex so this may be positive negative or may be zero also okay so that we discuss in the next class so may be positive or negative or zero next this one m this m is metal atom or ion okay this metal e this m is a metal atom or ion and see this region this entire region it is called as coordination sphere or coordination entity coordination sphere or coordination entity so means a portion which constitutes okay a portion which constitutes central metal atom okay a portion which constitutes central metal atom and bonded to a fixed number of and bonded to a fixed number of atoms or ions or molecules okay a region or a portion which constitutes a central metal atom or ion okay bonded to a fixed number of atoms or ions or molecules with dative bonds okay so this metal is bonded to ligands with dative bond or coordinate covalent bond so what is ligand okay what is ligand right so ligand means an atom or ion or molecule okay ligand may be a atom or a ion or a molecule which donates an electron pair to the central metal atom or ion okay so what is ligand an atom or maybe a ion or it may be a molecule okay which is donating electron pair to the metal which is donating electron pair to the central metal atom and forms a coordinate covalent bond that is called as ligand okay the species simply species that species means maybe atom or ion or molecule which donate electron pair to the metal okay next what is this x this x means coordination number x is coordination number so this coordination number represents number of coordinate bonds formed with metal ion by the ligand okay this x represents number of coordinate bonds formed by the ligand with metal yes sir we are saying that how a complex is formed by the 
coordinate covalent bond between the metal and the ligand okay so this coordination number gives information about how many coordinate covalent bonds or how many dative bonds are formed by the metal atom with the ligands is called coordination number okay suppose if it is two metal is forming two coordinate covalent bonds suppose x is four metal is forming four coordinate covalent bonds with the ligands okay so this is the general representation of a normal complex okay next we discuss how to represent ionic complex okay. next type of complex is ionic complex okay ionic complex so just now we discuss about normal complex right a normal complex consists only coordination sphere only coordination sphere okay so ionic complex means a complex compound which consists coordination sphere as well as ionization sphere okay coordination sphere as well as ionization sphere they are called as ionic complexes okay the outside part of the coordination sphere is called as ionization sphere right okay so this already we discussed right coordination sphere this is called and the what which is present outside of the coordination sphere is called as ionization sphere okay ionization sphere right okay so now the complex which contains both coordination sphere as well as ionization sphere they are called as ionic complexes okay so now here this ionization sphere look at these two okay these two complexes here also we have coordination sphere as well as ionization sphere but see how we are writing here ionization sphere is left side of the coordination sphere right and here ionization sphere is right side of the coordination sphere right okay so generally these positions are called as this left side portion is called as cationic position okay cationic position and this right side portion is called as anionic position okay see here ionization sphere is in the left side that is it is in the cationic position so it has a positive charge okay and here see coordination sphere is in the right side and here it is called as anionic position see here we have a negative charge is present on the coordination sphere yes or no okay so based on the charge the left side position is generally called as cationic part or cationic position this position and this is called as anionic part or this position is called as anionic position see here now coordination sphere is in the anionic position yes or no and look at in this one see here coordination sphere is in the cationic position okay so coordination sphere may be present in the anionic position or it may be present in the cationic position okay so ionic complexes these two possibilities right so now see the ion which is present outside of the ionization sphere it is called as counter ion okay counter ion the ion which is present outside of the coordination sphere they are called as counter ions okay clear so one is normal complex which contain only coordination sphere right okay so this is another type of ionic complex in which a coordination sphere is present as well as ionization sphere is present okay the ions which are present in the ionization sphere are called as counter ions okay counter ion this is about general representation of normal complexes and ionic complexes so next we discuss types of coordination complexes okay so coordination complexes are majorly classified into two types so one is mononuclear complexes and another one is polynuclear complexes okay mononuclear polynuclear complexes mononuclear complexes means the complex compound which contains only one center metal atom see here only one metal atom is present right only one metal is present these are called as mononuclear complexes okay the complexes which contains only one metal atom or ion they are called as mononuclear complexes okay next polynuclear complexes means the complexes which contain more than one central metal atom they are called as polynuclear complexes okay maybe two metal atoms may be present three four five like that okay so polynuclear means simply the complex compound which contain more than one central metal atom or ion they are called as polynuclear complexes 
ओके मोनोन्यूक्लियर कंटेन्स ओनली वन मेटल आटम और आयन प्रेजेंट इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड पॉलीन्यूक्लियर मींस मोर देन वन मेटल आटम्स और आयंस प्रेजेंट इन द पॉलीन्यू कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पॉलीन्यूक्लियर कॉम्प्लेक्स ओके नेक्स्ट फर्दर दीस मोनोन्यूक्लियर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस सो दीस आर क्लासिफाइड अगेन इनटू थ्री टाइप्स ओके मोनोन्यूक्लियर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री टाइप्स वन इज न्यूट्रल कॉम्प्लेक्सेस so this classification is actually based on the charge present on the coordination sphere okay charge present on the coordination sphere so mononuclear complexes are further classified into three types okay so first one is neutral complex see here the coordination sphere does not have any charges or no zero charge so that's why we are not writing anything there okay neutral complex means a complex see here it does not have any charge on the coordination sphere so no these are called as neutral complexes okay next cationic complexes cationic complex means a complex which has positive charge on the coordination sphere okay a complex which has positive charge on the coordination sphere that is called as cationic complexes okay see here positive charge right next last type is anionic complexes anionic complexes means the complexes in which coordination sphere has negative charge okay the complexes in which coordination sphere has negative charge they are called as anionic complexes okay neutral complex means very simple so here based on the charge present on the coordination sphere okay if there is no charge present on the coordination sphere that is a neutral complex right okay if there is a positive charge is present on the coordination sphere that is called cationic complex okay next last one is if there is a negative charge present on the coordination sphere then that is called as anionic complex okay this is the general classification of types of coordination complexes okay so we have one more classification that is based on the type of ligands bonded to the metal atom okay Other type of classification of complexes is based on the type of ligands attached to the central metal atom. Okay, homoleptic complexes and heteroleptic complexes. Okay, homoleptic complexes means the complexes in which only one type of ligand is attached to the central metal atom. They are called as homoleptic. Okay, only one type of atom, one type, not one ligand. Okay, only one type of ligand. Look at here in this complex, six amine ligands are attached, bonded to the cobalt metal atom. Okay, six amine ligands. See, same type of ligand, only one type of ligand that is amine ligand that is bonded to the central metal atom. Okay, so this is homoleptic complex. and one more example see here in this example four cyanide ligands they are bonded to the platinum metal ion okay four cyanide ligands see, only one type understood don't confuse with this one one type of ligand not one ligand okay so only one type of ligand is bonded to the central metal atom they are called as homoleptic complexes okay next to see heteroleptic complexes heteroleptic complexes means if more than one type of ligand more than one type of ligand is bonded to the central atom or ion they are called as heteroleptic complexes okay heteroleptic complexes see here for cobalt chlorine and amine okay chlorine and amine both are bonded okay so this is heteroleptic complex two different types two different types of ligands are present so that's why heteroleptic see in this example amine ligand as well as triphenyl phosphine ligand okay two different types of ligand amine and triphenyl phosphine ligand so these are bonded to the central metal atom okay so that's why these are called heteroleptic complexes clear so one is homoleptic complexes and another one is heteroleptic complexes okay so this is the types of coordination complexes okay so already we discussed that based on the charge present on the complex how many types neutral complexes cationic complexes and anionic complexes right that is based on the charge and what is another classification based on the number of metal atoms or ions present in the complex they are 
mononuclear complexes and polynuclear complexes right okay so this is about types of coordination complexes and in the next class we are going to discuss types of ligands okay types of ligand that is the heart of coordination compounds topic okay so types of ligands are very very important if you know the ligands okay so we have to remember the ligands what is the name of the ligand and whether it is neutral or negative or positive ligand or and a ligand a ligand can form one bond or two bond or three bond like that okay so those all we discuss in the next class okay if you know the ligands or if you remember the ligand generally 50 to 60 ligands only with a little bit of practice we can remember once if you remember the ligands this coordination complex chapter is very very simple okay so that's why in the next class we discuss the classification of ligands okay thank you press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update